Hello, um, I'm here to talk to you about our new game, Ghost. It's a two to four player party game. Um, we might add some sort of single player eventually. Um, first, I'm just going to take you through the tutorial so you understand how the game plays. It's kind of like a cross between Splatoon, Pac-Man, and I don't know, some shooting game. Whatever shooting game you have in mind. But um, yeah, so the goal is mainly to just take the entire map and color it your color. But you can also shoot things. So I have a single bullet. I'll shoot that barrier out of the way. I have to collect my bullet. The bullet can also go across these areas, like this brown area. I can't actually go across it myself, as you can see. But I can shoot that thing that takes the color from me. So that's trying to teach players about bombs, which I'll get to when we start playing the actual game. Um, the thing about only having one bullet is, the bullet can kill you, ah, like that, or um, you can pick up your bomb by holding the bum bumper button. Um, the cool thing is, if you're holding the bumper button, you don't paint the world, so it's a risk and reward mechanic. Um, you're obviously defenseless if you don't have a bullet, because you can't shoot anyone. So the skill mechanic that really awesome hardcore players will do is to shoot the bullet around to the corner. So what you do is you hold the bullet, you hold a direction uh, re uh, relative to the direction you're going. And when you shoot, the bullet will go around the corner that way. Obviously what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to see people miles away in the map and figure out how to shoot them from a long distance. And then they'll be surprised. So um, that's the core of the game. So we're going to play a match. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Great start. Yeah, I really suck. <sighs> the frame rate's really bad because of the video capture, which certainly doesn't help things. Um, the feature of the really makes the game work really well, or one of the things, um, is that when you kill people, uh, they explode in a small detonation of your own color. So the more people you kill, the bigger that bomb becomes. So when you see deaths on the screen, you can really easily tell who's like winning, who's got the best chance of taking over the game, because um, they leave these massive detonations behind them. Um, you see green's a reasonable size, but... Uh, so with the game, we've taken it out and had a few <laughs> multiplayer <laughs> sessions. I need my bullet back. Ooh, ooh. Um, and people seem to respond really well to the game. Um. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Um. oh, that was huge. So yeah, this is the third time we've recorded this video. First time we re-recorded it because we were swearing too much, and the second time we re-recorded it because I forgot to turn the microphone on. So, so I'm pretending to be spontaneous. Um, obviously we think that the game can be expanded in a lot of ways. Um, currently there are lots of modifiers, so when you set up a game you can set lots of custom rules. Like, uh, do bullets hit bullets? Uh, do bullets paint the world? Do ships hit ships? Um, every time you die, uh, your spawner goes up, so that's why you see us waiting longer and longer. So there's a... Hey, turtle girl! Um, press A. Sorry. I, I decided that you should have to press A as the winner because I thought it'd be like cool so you could frustrate us. Um, so the game has currently quite a few maps, so it's very easy to add maps. Uh, but we're just trying to refine the mechanics first and make it feel as awesome as possible. Um, now I'm stuck. Oh, no, I made it. Um, we also, there's a kind of loose story and things like that. So we think we can like build out the game with more environments and make it like prettier and things like that. But in general, we're really happy with the gameplay, and that's the most important thing. So yeah, there's, uh, there's our game. 